Hi, this is April 27th, 2011. His Royal Majesty Cesar St. Augustine de Buenaparte, Emperor of the United States of Turtle Island, formerly known as the United States of America, overthrown in October of 1996 on cable access television. Adelphia cable, as a matter of fact. And the overthrow of the government was done by sending the federal government a challenge they didn't answer it in 30 days, so they lost by default. You'll find all this information on the internet. I'm also known as Reality Supreme Being, all one word, and you'll get all my videos on YouTube. Um, all right, as a presidential candidate in the past, and my twin, who ran for president since 1984, um, both of us have run on and off uh, over the last 30 years. <coughs> but there are some things I need to clarify from my opening statements uh, yesterday. Um, I mentioned the media and the Bilderberg Group and the Rockefellers and the big money interest because that since 1954 that is who c is controlling everything. And now they have these really fandle dang new fangle dangle computers that do just about everything so <coughs> they have a lot better hold on the direction and the manipulation of the monies worldwide. International Monetary Fund is involved in this. They all get invited to the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, uh, with Rockefeller. Um, you know, I mentioned yesterday that the majority of the United States is fifth grade mentality. During the Reagan era, it was about eighth grade mentality. So a bunch of fifth graders are electing people who've gone to college, spent money, probably have a lot more money than the poor people, and they actually, you're, you're duped to believing them, whether it's on the internet or on television. Uh, I already talked about it in my previous thing about television. If you have money, you're going to be covered by the major media, the national media. When you call the media and do a press release, they ask you, do you want local news or national desk? If it's local news, then that's as far as it's going to go. It probably won't get any national news unless, like I said, they have... The, the, you know, it's not like, I'm not saying like a CBS, ABC, NBC, and CNN pick up the phone and call some big secret person in the Bilderberg or the Rockefellers and say, can we do the media on this? No, they don't. They have a planned procedure that they follow. And that procedure is fanatical. And they do not give attention to mavericks unless they discredit themselves somehow. In other words, if they rant and rave in public or they uh, show themselves to be unstable. But you know, how many, would you call a president of the United States stable that signs a military executive order that sends a cruise missile to another country and kills with friendly fire innocent men, women, and children, whether they're being used for shields or not? I don't want to hear that bull crap excuse. They aren't being used as shields. There's tons of people over there. <laughs> they can't help it. If they try to do a surgical strike, they're going to kill innocent people, including children and women who are pregnant, who haven't even had the children yet. So you call a man or a woman who signs an executive order to kill these innocent men, women, and children stable? <laughs> That's you deserve the fifth grade mentality you have because you're idiots. I got this one guy who's sitting, uh, sent me two emails already and uh, you're just an opinion and you're this and you're that and you tried to tell me to go watch two TV programs to kind of simulate what you're trying to say on YouTube. Yeah, I told him that the public is being manipulated. If it's not being manipulated by forces within our sight, okay, in other words, forces around us, mayors, governors, presidents, senators, congressional representatives, uh, police, you know, if they're not if they're not people that are in direct contact with you at one time or another, then it's by forces that I can't even go into talking about them because you people would have had to have learned what I know in a step-by-step -step process in order to understand, truly understand what I'm talking about. Now, Let's talk about my abuse. 
You know, I went to church groups when I was being kicked around by the city of Los Angeles, building and safety, the fire department, the police department, all the, the tow yards, the, 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 the crappy parking enforcement. All these people are wacko. They got no business carrying badges and they have no business being in control of a public that generally, at least, I don't see hundreds of wrecks every intersection. I see wrecks and accidents that happen once in a while. Let's just talk about traffic right now for a second. But it isn't happening every other block. So that means that even though people have a fifth grade mentality, they're pretty much staying within the rules. So why do you have the police following people around, waiting for them to make a mistake? Everybody makes a tiny mistake. They make a tiny mistake and they, get, they, and they give them a two, three hundred dollar ticket. What kind of justice is that? You know, the punishment has to fit the crime. The crime has to fit the punishment. These people are nuts. They need to be put on boats, stripped naked, put on boats, and thrown on some island somewhere where they can do it to each other and not do it to innocent people that are just trying to make a living. I mean, you know, it's bad enough that they screwed up the economy and that these people that you give power to, they help screw it up even more. Well, that's not working. We tried to apply that law. That's not working. Oh, well, let's make a new law and another law and another law until you're choking with laws. And you're like this. Oh, I'm afraid uh, if I move in this direction or that direction, I might get a ticket. I can't afford a ticket. I'm poor. This is what I'm talking about. You know, I went to church groups. I went to psychologists. I went to all these kind of people. They said, oh, yeah, you know, we can't help you with it. I just, I can pay rent, reasonable rent. For all of my cars, my boats, my motorhomes, I, I I just needed a piece of property. I had a piece of property, 40 acres in Colorado, but I couldn't get there because they wouldn't leave me alone long enough so I could save money to get there. I could, you know, that's why there's 30 videos. There's no way I could put everything, every injustice, and every agony and every civil rights violations. Many of them have gone statute limitations already on YouTube. There's no way. I could put hours and hours and hours of every incident, and people would say, well, that's past. Get on with your life. You know, if I lost everything by natural disaster, an earthquake, a tornado, a hurricane, this I can accept, okay? But to lose it because the laws are being applied with prejudice, and, and it's a form of prejudice that once they do the damage, the person, like me, is scarred for life. Because I hate America. I hate everybody. You know, you're all full of crap, and you will always be. You deserve 9-11, and I predicted it seven years before it happened. You'll find that on the Internet and uh, throughout the Internet as well about me and my past. I predicted, I predicted uh, the Waco, Texas thing. I predicted the uh, Miramar Federal Building a year before it happened. You know, nobody listened. And you see, I have these quantum chaos computers that do scenarios just like the CIA and the NSA do. Don't don't I'm not doing anything different than what they do. And they come up with their own scenarios of what might happen in the future if certain events continue on the same road. So, I'm no different than them. I've done this my own researches, my own findings and I have found these scenarios and I tried to bring attention to them. No, you see what this boils down to is that I'm blacklisted. You won't see me on ABC, NBC, CBS, or even in the past. I had the BBC interview me. I had Ray, Mark and Brian in Los Angeles interview me. But, you know, it was all fun. Oh, we're going to talk to the presidential candidate who thinks or believes he is the emperor of the United States. I never said I was the emperor of the United States. I overthrew the United States after 30 days that the United States government didn't answer me. And then I overthrew it and renamed it. And I renamed, no one asked the Indians, can we name your country? The white man didn't ask the Indians, can we name, was a vote taken? Can we name your continent? No vote was ever taken. They didn't ask the indigenous people, may we have permission to, to label your country America? No. And to me, the indigenous people were the owners. You should have asked them permission first. After all, you didn't follow the, America, the United States of America, as my videos say, never followed and kept any real contracts lived up to the bargains and contracts that they signed. So they violated that, violating their state status. They're not legal states because they violated so many indigenous people's contracts. So, I mean, let's, let's talk about rules and regulations. These people are nuts. 
and you're nuttier because you're allowing them to stay in there so hey you know I'm trapped here like a prisoner when I saw the helicopter was was uh, taken down by some guy in Van Nuys or Joe Stack flew his plane into a building in, in Texas I applauded bravo every cop that dies I drink a toast of champagne you know why because they're nothing but gang members with badges legalized extortionist and so is building and safety and so is the fire department now I can go on with a list forever but you know what none of this ranting rave is gonna do any good because the media has control of you who's gonna watch my more, more people want to watch YouTube naked women on YouTube they'll get 10 million views and even if I got 10 million views that's not enough you people have to be angry angry enough to do something about it I mean I can tell you right now that a tsunami could happen to America very easily on the East Coast. It's on YouTube, it's no secret. It would inundate about 20 miles inland all along the whole East Coast if the Canary Islands ever lose that big chunk of land into the ocean. It's called a super tsunami. Now let's talk about the West Coast. Yeah, a tsunami did hit here from Japan. So now they're talking about tsunami exits and they have all these special signs they're putting up saying the wave, you know, picture of a wave, you run this way, run that way. This, these people are nuts that are running this country state federal and local they're all nuts any good they do is undone by the nuttiest things they do elsewhere now here you've got a candidate who you know I don't want to be president because I don't have enough leverage there you know I want people to get so mad that they're just gonna overthrow the country stop paying your taxes and tell them hey you know we want this guy to run the country for a while after all we took his cars, his boats, his motorhomes. We, you know, the person most qualified to be president or governor or, or mayor is the person who has been subjected to the most abuse. My house was set on fire. The church has never helped me. The media never helped me. The, the government screwed me every which way I went. They took every piece of property from me. And, and, and what did I get out of it? What did I get out of it? Nothing. We're 12 minutes into the video, and again, I sound like I'm ranting and raving. I can't keep on one subject because there's so many subjects to cover. But for this last three minutes, let's cover about the news media. ABC, CBS, NBC, they covered me. I was in the, let's say, my twin was in the Boston Globe. I was in a couple of newspapers. It doesn't matter. So what? Your name gets mentioned. It's, it's bird lining for the birdcage the next day you gotta have a lot a lot a lot of money and even if you have a lot of money look at Perot he spent a whole lot he spent millions and he still didn't get in there because it's fixed it doesn't matter if you have three presidential candidates or four and it isn't just the president's responsibility when you have a, a Congress and a Senate you gotta blame your senators and your congressmen you gotta hit them with the same hell that you hit the president with equal amounts of it that's the only way you're going to probably get any justice out of the system. The system is evil. To me, if people don't vote in a city, if I was emperor of this country, I'd cut off L.A. of any funding immediately. Why? Because in the last election, 75% of the voters' population did not go to vote. Do you want me to say any more? You go to register to vote and you vote, you're going to get the money that the government supposedly allocates to you by the percentage of people that show up at the polls and that's what I would do now you watch Obama or some jerk governor or mayor is gonna take what I just said and use it for themselves you watch it's just a matter of time you can't allow these people to control your life and that's what they're doing they want you to go home be brainwashed by the TV set, you know, go to work, worry about paying your rent because you get evicted and you become homeless. That's no way for a person to live. A person has to be relaxed, laid back. They go to work because they love to go to work. They love what they do. That's the kind of society that's advanced. A society that's truly advanced doesn't have police on every corner. They're not needed. I just said that earlier in the tape. We'd have accidents every other block if things were really, 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 really bad. But they're not. Everybody knows the rules of the road, and they try to stick to it. Yeah, you get a little road rage once in a while, but as long as they control themselves, it's okay. 
Anyway, it's 14 minutes and 45 seconds. I'm going to have to get off the thing here and tell you that the media is evil. Don't believe anything they tell you because they're full of crap. See you later.